So can you believe it? We're in our last company for, for today's presentations. And um, this company is distinguished in a few ways. First, they've traveled the farthest for sure. They've come from Santa Fe, Albuquerque, and Monterey to be with us for the last four months. And we hope they'll be putting down roots here in Philadelphia. Second, I believe that this, they're the only company to go through any, star, any startup accelerator, healthcare or otherwise. It's combining software, hardware, and biology. And uh, I think when they're done, you'll really never look at your smartphone the same way again. So please welcome Biomeme. Thanks, Elliot. Thanks, Elliot. Hi, everyone. Whoa. Hi, everyone. I'm Max, co-founder of Biomeme. We enable anyone to do real-time DNA analysis on a smartphone. I'd like to share with you the story of how we came to be and where we're going. It starts in the jungles of Vietnam almost a decade ago. Jesse, my co-founder, was on a journey to explore the biological world around him. But I think he got more than he bargained for when he contracted dengue fever, otherwise known as breakbone fever, and malaria simultaneously. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm laughing, but this, this is, <laughs> it was not funny. But at the time, one of the biggest problems was he couldn't get a diagnosis. And that's the problem that we're solving today on a smartphone. Now, this experience was incredibly influential for Jesse, to the point that he changed his major to molecular diagnostics and began a career in applied research and, and development in infectious disease. First at the Respiratory Lovele Loveless Respiratory Research Institute, and then later at a mobile molecular diagnostic company in New Mexico. That's where he met our other co-founder, Mark Dijon. Mark's background was biology, chemistry, and engineering. But he left his PhD program in electrochemistry to begin commercializing various technologies coming out of the Los Alamos National Lab scene. Over the past 15 years, Mark has, Mark has authored or co-authored 10 patents in areas ranging from fuel cells to molecular diagnostics. And when they met, Mark and Jesse were developing mobile microfluidic DNA di diagnostics for agricultural diseases. Now, the technology behind it was cutting edge. But the output was incredibly simple, essentially a pregnancy test style readout. Now, while these tests were elegant, Mark and Jesse thought that they could make something just as user friendly, but infinitely more powerful. We wanted to take the capabilities of an advanced DNA laboratory and put them on a smartphone. The smartphone and the personal smart device has rapidly become the epicenter of mobile health. The sensors, connectivity, and interface make so much possible. Mark and Jesse wanted to apply this to directly diagnosing a disease or pathogen by its specific RNA or DNA signature, the same gold standard method used by central labs around the world. They quit their jobs and began developing a proof of principle. That's around the time when I, I joined the team. I'd been working in Asia in management consulting and e-commerce strategy, and then California doing climate change and environmental issues. I've known Mark all my life, and the stuff that he's come up with over the past 15 years is just amazing. But when he shared this idea with me and asked that I help on the business plan, I knew that this was the one. The incredible potential to save lives and change the world just struck me, and I had to be part of it. And over, the, over eight months, we developed a working prototype and proof of principle. This working prototype that we first had when we started Dream It four months ago was a tenth the cost and significantly smaller than the smallest, cheapest laboratory systems available. It was now time for us to flesh out our software and iterate on the hardware. One Max wasn't enough, so we brought on Max number two as our ACE iOS developer. Maximilian got into mobile health when he developed a medication adherence app for his mother to help take care of his autistic brother. And over the past four months, Max has succeeded in developing one of the most sophisticated mobile apps around. But what I'd, like to reveal, what I'd like to unveil to you today is even more revolutionary. It's our new hardware platform, the smallest in the world and battery powered. Some of you might not like it in white, so we also offer it in charcoal. <laughs> Let me show you how it works. So the first part of the system is the hardware docking station. You can think of this as a photocopy machine for DNA. It's what's called a real-time qPCR thermal cycler. And it's the same gold standard technology used by central labs around the world for the most sensitive and specific tests. 
For example, if I want to look for a specific pathogen, E. coli on a leaf of spinach, or HIV in blood, even if there was just one strand of DNA or RNA in that sample, our machine would be able to copy it up to the point that the smartphone would be able to detect its signature and make a diagnosis. This is what we're doing. The second part of our system is the consumables. We've got a sample prep kit and a test cartridge. The sample prep kit takes less than two minutes to isolate DNA or RNA. And then that's put into our test cartridge, which then goes into the thermal cycle or darkening station. This takes less than two minutes. It requires no special lab equipment, and anybody can use it. Dozens of regular people, even VCs, have tried this, and no one has failed. <laughs> Not even the VCs. So the third part of our system is the smartphone and mobile app. The mobile app controls our hardware docking station wirelessly and then also is able to detect the signature of the reaction going on inside and make a diagnosis. This can then be uploaded to the cloud. So, does it work? For you skeptical scientists out there, here's the geek slide. This shows 10 full dilutions down to 10 genetic copies of E. coli. And our little guy down there is performing to the gold standard. Now, a mobile DNA diagnostic in the palm of your hand is a game changer for so many industries. Environmental monitoring and data analysis. Vector surveillance for things like dengue, West Nile, malaria, Lyme disease. Agriculture and food safety. And animal health and veterinary. As well as human health, both in mobile clinics and at the point of care. And all of this big data can be mapped in real time for further analysis. Now, this is our grand vision, but to get there, we're first starting with food safety. Because it's, the market is significant, and the regulatory barriers are significantly lower as well. Specifically, we're starting with 100 leafy greens companies in the California growing region. These are the same companies that have, hit, that have been hit hardest by the recent food safety scares. And these 100 players represent 80% of the leafy greens produ production in the United States, 30% globally. And these 100 players are spending over $350 million a year on food safety testing alone. They're holding all of their finished product, testing it, and then after they get the results, it's being released. And our system is able to reduce that hold time by more than 60%. And with our agricultural diagnostics background, and partnerships in the California growing region, we've lined up one of the, a very close partnership with one of the largest of these 100 players. And they're part of a much larger $3 billion food safety testing industry in the United States, which is growing rapidly to the point that it's going to hit $19.7 billion a year by 2018 globally. Now, while we're starting with food safety testing, we don't want to lose sight of our greater human health vision. And that's why we've partnered with three central laboratories around the world. Penn Medicine here in Philadelphia, as well as the Botswana UPenn Partnership in Botswana, Sub-Saharan Africa, and the Gorgas Institute in Central America. And these three, these three central laboratories are optimizing their existing human health tests for use on our platform to be, to be used in the point of care and in the field. Now, while Dream It ends this week, and we begin the journey to start our field testing next week, we're raising $750,000 to fund us through our field testing, which will end mid-next year. This includes both the food safety testing and the human health testing with our partners. And then later next year, we'll be raising a much more significant round to commercialize the Biomean platform. Thank you. And we'd love to share more, so please do meet us by our table later this afternoon. I just want to do a quick shout out to uh, our interns. Christine, actually there is no Christine. <laughs> I don't know why I'd say that. <laughs> um, Brooke, where are you? Brooke, um, Elizabeth, <laughs> Pat, and Chris. Thank you so much. We wouldn't have been able to do this out without you. Thank you.